Howdy friends, uh, so this is a run through of our latest meeting type which is called Sprint Poker and I'm going to show you what the end to end experience looks like. So first of all you can access Sprint Poker in the same place as the other meeting types that we offer. So if you go to start new meeting here, you'll see this meeting uh, type carousel um, and you can scroll through and select Sprint Poker. Uh, so this is for the feature team, uh, this is our template editor and so you'll see templates here in the same way that you do for retrospectives. These are the, the default templates and you can copy them if you would like uh, and you know change the name of the, the template um, and also add multiple dimensions if you want to evaluate multiple dimensions. You can see these uh, built-in scales and also create your own as an example that one but we're just for this round going to go with the tried and true estimated effort template with the Fibonacci scale. All right, so we've done that. Um, you can choose to include or not include an icebreaker and we hit start meeting. Uh, and so here you'll see the classic kind of parable icebreaker, which you can choose to run through now. Uh, but the meat of this new meeting type starts in this scoping phase here. Uh, and so in this phase, you could choose to do this phase synchronously in real time with your teammates on the call, um, or you can choose to do this ahead of time. And what you'll see is that I've already connected Jira, and so I can just easily browse for the, the different uh, issues that I wanna pull in from Jira, or if I have a, a query that I run, you know, every time we do this kind of meeting, so let's say I, I always wanna see our newest epics, um, I can copy this Jira query language search and then hit use JQL here and voila, they're already populated uh, and easy to pull in there. Uh, so again, you could do this asynchronously before your teammates join and then when you're ready to estimate together, you can hit this next button. Um, so this is the phase, the estimate phase where we really want um, some interaction. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and invite some teammates to join me. Um, now, if you have our Slack integration, then you would have already seen um, a Slack message in your team channel um, that would pull folks in. But for now, I'm just kind of doing it manually and you'll see these folks that have joined the team here. And so I see these are the stories that we're going to estimate. These are the, the main details uh, from Jira. Um, this is the discussion thread and here are my familiar set of cards. Um, so let's say I think the story is an eight. Um, and now if someone else is hovering over their, their card deck, you'll see their little faces pop up there. Um, and once they've selected an estimate, you'll see them come up here. So you can see that folks have voted, but you can't see what they voted for. Um, that allows us to avoid anchoring. Once everybody has voted, you can click reveal votes and you'll see everyone's votes here. We also see which field in Jira this will map to. Um, let's say I want to put this into the story points field. Um, and now I can just select which estimate we choose and hit next. Uh, now, if we hop on over to Jira, that was the Slack integration, this one. Uh, and you'll see the story point estimate. Let's refresh and see. Story point estimate is updated in Jira. Uh, so you didn't have to do anything extra, it just sort of works magically. Um, and you can go through and do this for all of the rest of the issues. Uh, just going through kind of the same process and selecting the, the correct estimate once you've sort of chosen it. Like so. If you see a lot of variation, you can choose to discuss um, and kind of figure out like why you have that variation. You can also add comments in here. Why do you think it's a five? Uh, and then C replies. Uh, and you can even add reactions to that. Like, great, that's a great reason. All the familiar things that you kind of love about Parable, uh, but with this added card interaction for estimating. Now, once you're done, you can hit end meeting and confirm. And you'll see this meeting in the timeline here. 
You can go in and see the estimates right there um, and also see a summary uh, of what you've selected. Um, and these will actually take you yeah, back into the, the stories. So that's it. That's the new Sprint Poker meeting type. Uh, we hope you enjoy it and let us know what your experience is like.